the King Cobra, a $109,000 upgrade for the fourth path glue gunner. Along the way, we're gonna be getting glue mines, acid gunner, and deadly venom. Not to mention, we're also gonna be checking out the fourth path monkey ace, which upgrades to Sidewinder Ace, that has additional monkey planes that runs around, a mounted Gatling gun, and even exploding darts. All right, let's get this party started. So right in the beginning, I think this glue gunner is going to be insane, but we can't do it until we get acid gunner. And that's going to cost a little bit of money for us to be able to afford. So before we do that, I actually think let's just go and get the monkey ace, right? I think that's probably going to be best. But we'll, the monkey ace will be here. Okay, so splody darts. So darts cause a small explosion when they hit a balloon. Sharper darts allows the explosion to pop more balloons. So, whoa, look at that. So they actually explode now. That's amazing. I, I love that. I mean, anything that just deals with explosions are always going to get my thumbs up. Huge shout out to Linksy, by the way, for the creation of these 4th Path mods. They've been amazing. We, I mean, they do so many awesome stuff, and there's so many of these 4th Path mods that I'd love to showcase and cover. So if you guys want to see more of these epic 4th Path tower upgrades, hit that like button, friends. Okay, what is Crack Shot Darts? Darts explode into even more- wait, into even more darts, so when you get it- whoa! So they explode, and then it's kind of like airburst darts. That makes this thing way too busted. Okay, gains a front-facing Gatlin gun. Do I want that, or do I want well, sharper darts or rapid fire? Shoots faster than normal. Is there one that gives you lots more darts? So that shoots 12 darts at a time. I think that's probably the best, right? Is just rapid fire. So it shoots faster, and it gives you more darts. Well, for now, we're doing okay. I think I'd rather just get some banana farm. Kind of down to put Geraldo down, and then just get ourselves a, a rare Quincy action figure, you know? Try to get some moolah. $755. Oh. So it only goes up in value after you place him down. Very interesting. There we go. Okay, let's put down our rare Quincy action figure. If you sell Geraldo, does it sell the Quincy action figure? It does not. That is cool. That is good. That is good to know. So now we just... Wait, why did I put my action... Please tell me I can put like a... I probably put that in such a bad spot. Can I even put... Oh my... Look at this. Oh wait, I can't. I can't. I can't sneak a banana farm there. So pressure gluer. So glue can now detect camo balloons. And is cam capable of stripping camo properties off of balloons. That's really nice. And then glue mines periodically places glue mines on the track that will explode when balloons get near it. Glue mines use the same glue as the glue gunner. Whoa, okay, that's pretty cool. I like that a lot, actually. So wait, this is only a T2. So you could technically get balloon solver and get glue mines mixed with balloon solver. That would be a really strong combo, I bet. Like, a really strong combo. I don't know what T2s that I want to get just yet with these towers. I do know that it's something that I want to get probably soon sooner rather than later i think i want to get this acid gunner i think that's the next thing so fires acid that deals contact damage to balloons because right now this glue gunner doesn't really pop or do anything so i think getting some more damage based things are going to be really nice so now we have acid gunner so now he's actually popping balloons and doing damage which is quite nice i think i want bigger globs can right i think that's probably the best because eventually i'm going to want glue splatter because I think that's probably going to be the best and just hits tons of balloons. So let's just hit bigger globs and that seems like it's going to be doing much more damage for us. All right, here we go. I just want to put all the banana farms down. We're going to need a lot, right? We are still steadily losing lives. Let's get this mounted Gatlin gun. What does this do? So does it... Whoa, wait. So it just like constantly fires in a straight line. Let's put this on Wing Monkey then. So it's like a dartling gunner... Wait, a so it's a dartling gunner. Can we hit? Yeah, we can hit leads. A dartling gunner monkey ace. I like that, actually. I think that's pretty cool. It feels like it's kind of useless in some way, but also, like, when it does turn and when it does face the balloons, it does a lot. But it feels like a lot of the times it is kind of just, like, not doing a ton. Deadly venom. Acid is even stronger and fired much quicker. Do we want that? Or, so dog fire. Oh, my gosh, that's $2,000. Okay. I don't think I need camo for this guy because this this guy actually removes camo, which is really insane for a T1 tower. So I don't think I need to worry about that. So maybe we just get rapid fire because I think just getting more darts on this is probably going to be the better option. Because if he's shooting 12 darts at a time and then we can just get glue splatter because now he's just going to be hitting even more balloons. All of these seem like very, very solid options. I want to get deadly venom. 
Acid is even stronger and fired much quicker. So now we have acid. So now this is just going to be spraying acid. King Cobra. So now we just have the King Cobra upgrade, which is $111,000. Who's doing more? Still, the Monkey Ace is kind of clutching it out right now, which is really nice. We're going to need to work on getting all of these upgraded. Do I want to upgrade all of them to... I don't know what's the more efficient thing. Is getting banana plantation and the valuable bananas better? I'm really interested to see the dogfighter. So dogfighter, plane flies a lot faster and Gatlin gun fires a small spread of darts that deals more damage. Wait, it just flies faster? Wait, why am I spending $20,000 for it to fly faster? So it fires a small spread of darts that deal more damage. I'm not entirely sure what it means by that. I'm not gonna question it. I, on the other hand, oh, I totally forgot that there's the bottom path banana farm. These things are crazy how much money it makes. Well, okay, let's just, all right, all right. For now, we're gonna just get banana plantation and get this one. I'm actually gonna sell this banana farm. I wanna see something, cause, oh, valuable bananas, and now watch this. Make sure you get the stock value. And now, if you, we wanna get healthier bananas on this. I totally forgot the fourth path banana farm makes you dumb money like insane money look at this look at this does it will it make it for us even like on its own it's outrageous how much money it makes at the end of the round yeah it's like a thousand dollars or something it's crazy and then the banana stock exchange which it's gonna be fine all right so we can't get king cobra yet but i would be interested in upgrading get this dog fighter i think getting the dog fighter would be very very cool for us all right plane flies a lot faster what does it mean by a lot faster, okay? I, I want to know what this means, okay? Well, let's find out right now. What is a lot? It flies the exact same. It does not, it doesn't even change the speed, does it? It says it flies faster. I don't, I don't think so. But it now it just shoots out like tons of darts, so it is way stronger. Is it $20,000 faster? Nah, I don't know about that. Oh my gosh! Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, okay. So when it's on Wing Monkey, it flies slowly. But when it flies, oh, look at this. Yeah. Oh, okay. I've changed my mind. That is insane. Okay, I think I like the figure infinite, right? Yeah, the figure infinite is probably the best. Look at that. That's so good, actually. All right, I've changed my mind. That's amazing. Our glue gunner has definitely pick, picked up the pace. And our glue gunner is now carrying us. And it is a T4, but Deadly Venom is not expensive in the slightest. So I think that is really cool. Sidewinder Ace is $55,000. And it now has two Wing Monkey planes to help devastate the balloons. So now we just get like a small army that is just constantly flying around causing mayhem. So he only puts down the glue traps if he's attacking, right? He doesn't just always put the glue. Okay, so he has to be attacking balloons to be able to put down glue traps. All right, next up, let's get the Sidewinder Ace and then we can finish it off by getting the King Cobra, which I'm really excited to see how strong this King Cobra actually is, right? I think that's gonna be really cool because it's already kind of carrying us, right? Like it already just does so much damage. I mean, how many, look at this. Actually, our Monkey Ace is picking up and has more pops now. They kind of alternate back and forth. I don't know who does more damage, but it looks like the glue monkey is actually better for bigger balloons. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure, but now we can actually get the Sidewinder Ace. So let's see how strong this is. Let's see what happens. So it now has, it now flies out little planes. Where are the little planes? Wait, oh, there they are. Okay, so you just get little planes that are now flying around as well. I, it's really cool. I like the mixing of the top path. Was it the top path boat? And so you just get like little planes as well that are flying around. I like that. I wonder if it's better to just have it as a wing monkey and not have it just go crazy fast. Like, look at how fast it flies. In fake, like, look at how fast that is. Or if you have it on wing monkey, it doesn't fly fast. I think I'd rather have it on wing monkey where it doesn't fly fast. I think that's actually better. And so now we're about to be able to get our King Cobra upgrade. I'm so excited. I want to see the King Cobra. All right, we, we just bought the King Cobra upgrade. Are we going to see how powerful it is? Or is this guy just too strong? I think this I think this tower is just so strong that you won't be able to see how powerful King Cobra is. Here, we can sell all of these. We don't need any of these. And now we have like $184,000. All right, let's skip some rounds. This is, we're too powerful. Let's go up to round 80. Bleh. All right. Oh my gosh, look, th is this going to defeat the zone? 
Wow, that was way too crazy. I want to see the King Cobra in action. Let's go to round 95. Is this, does this guy have what it takes to take on DDTs on round 95? All right, here comes the round 95 rush. Is the King Cobra strong enough to defeat DDTs for $100,000? Or is this just like a poopy tower? Let's find out. He's, oh my gosh, he literally just one-shots them. What the, oh my gosh. Wait, these guys, wait, 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 wait. Okay, let's go up to like a BAD. How strong is he versus a BAD? Holy cow, that's so good. All right, let's try round 200. Let's see how this guy actually does against round 200. Can he pop a fortified BAD on round 200? It does not appear so. So he's strong, ooh, wait. Oh, it was close. It was really close to popping it, but unfortunately, I think if maybe if we sell it and then we put it back down here. Oops, I got stronger glue on accident. Maybe, yeah. If I kept selling it and placing it down, but couldn't be 200 for $100,000, absolutely insane. Love the T4s, and if you guys do too, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.